Welcome back. Our ghost haunting continues, and right now we are at Jack's Beach. And I heard stories about a historic bar called Ginger's Place. Good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm inside Ginger's place. I have the Payson ladies here with me. Candy, Amanda, Samantha, thank you guys for spending a little time with us today. Oh, thank you for joining us. So Ginger's has a long history here in Jacksonville. Give me a little bit of information about that. Well, my mom and dad, Ginger and Ziggy, started this place in 1976. So this is our 40th year on the beach. Uh, my mom and dad have been bartenders on the beach forever. Uh, they, mom was a burlesque dancer during the Gypsy Rose Lee era, and she was in the USO show. And my dad started out here at the beach on 4th and 1st as a bartender on uh, Buddy's Carousel Club. And you guys have maintained the vibe here. I mean, what's that like? You guys are su have such name recognition that people know you from 40 years back. Well, we're a very neighborhood-oriented bar. We look out for our people. We do a lot of charity things. We, you know interact with the different charities in the area. And we just kind of look out when somebody has a problem or needs a job, we hook up with each other and things like that. Now, I heard of something about this thing about other spirits besides what you see behind me. So before we get into that, Samantha, you guys have this signature drink that hopefully will calm my nerves as we talk about the spirits here. What's this drink? It's called the Rocket Bomb. Tell me about it. It's Smirnoff Ice. Halfway up the glass, dash of grenadine. This is very popular for 4th of July. Ah, <laughs> you got me. Some raspberry vodka. Some blue curacao. And then you drop it in. I guess I just have to try it, right? Tell me about the spirits that people talk about here. You guys have actually had some hunters come in and they've mm -hmm. seen some of the stuff around here. You've experienced right. it, tell me. Um, the first one I ever saw was in, going into the back room was an actual shadow that shut the door. And nobody, when I went back there, I had a full bar of people. And when I went back there, there was nobody there. So I've seen that in movies. That's usually when I leave. But you stay here. You've seen some other stuff, heard some other stuff as well? Heard all kinds of things. We had a sign over there that likes to jump into the, the walkway. Um, we've had things move. We've had, you know, like copies of people's voices, you know, like people saying things. And I've seen, quite a few people have seen different things happen, like apparitions. What's up with the dines? They get left here. I know some people drop them, but we find them in really weird spots. I found them in places that just dime shouldn't. I remember one time my sister had a jacket on. It was actually cold. And she came up to me and she was like, I've been wearing this jacket all day. And she goes, and I, I put my hands in my pockets several times, but I just put my hand in my pocket and I have a dime. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I look at it, I put it in my hand, and I come over here to the jar to put it in, and I went like this, and there were two dimes in my hand. There was one dime, and then all of a sudden there was two dimes. So that was a pretty cool story. I'm but, out. We, but I collect them. <laughs> but I collect them well, every that, dime we find. Tell them what they're supposed to mean, that, mean that somebody's here. Saying, yeah, just a hello from heaven. That's what they are. I'm still out. <laughs> <laughs> so Rance is having a good time over at Ginger's place right next door, 33 star. It's also believed to be haunted. So let's go check it out. So we are inside 33 star Jessica Crawford. Thanks for meeting up with us. And can you just start out by giving us an overview of this place? So 33 Star, we will be here for five years um, uh, next month in November. We've been here since 2011. We started out as a rock and roll store, um, strictly just to try to provide rock and roll wear for the local community. And it kind of turned into a formal store as well. So for the past four years, we've been going hard on the formal and we're still rock and roll. So it's, it's a crazy concept, but it works for us. How did that concept start? Um, well, let's see, uh, Thressa Anderson, she's the owner. She has a background uh, working with uh, uh, bands from back in the day, like The Who and 
multiple other people, but um, she just wanted somewhere for people to shop um, locally, to have rock wear, stage wear. Um, she also wanted a place for people to buy dresses, a little more fancy on the formal side. So she bought about 10 to start off with back in 2011. And uh, it's grown into 3,000 dresses now in the store. And, you know, we have people from uh, South Georgia, Carolinas, South Florida, all come up here to shop at our store. It's, it's pretty crazy. So you have all types of people. And from what I understand, the rumor is you also have all types of spirits. Absolutely. So can you give me some stories about that? Well, let's see. There's many. Um, we've had, we've come in here and we've had a rack falling on the ground and we rewind the cameras and it's just this little bitty orb that kind of comes over and just pushes the rack down. Or um, You make it sound like very harmless, little bitty orb. It's a ghost. <laughs> it's knocking stuff you down. You gotta get used to it. Once you've been here for five years and you see all the crazy stuff go on, you gotta get used to it and just kind of be like, all right, well, there she is or there he is and just kind of leave it alone. But yeah. It's a little scary. Now, at Ginger's Place, they were talking about dimes. They have dimes that appear all over. Does that happen here? Absolutely. It happens here. It happens whenever we're out of town shopping for the store. It happens all the time, everywhere. There's, I mean, in the littlest places, I mean, I know it's a dime, it's changed, but in the craziest place that nobody's been for six months to a year, we'll find a dime there. We move a piece of furniture, there's a dime there. Who would have thought? I don't know. It's crazy. And the buildings are connected. So yes. is your hunch, is it the same ghost or ghost? Uh, we believe it is. Um, uh, also, you know, this place was built back around when Ginger's was back in the 50s. I know Ginger's was built in like the 30s, I think. But um, I, we think it, they're connected. You know, Mr. O.C. It used to be a grocery store. Um, he built it a long time ago and we, we think he's here. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Everything from Ginger's kind of floats over here, I guess you would say. <laughs> all right. So there's ghosts and orbs all around the place. Have you ever captured anything on video? Oh, plenty. Uh, so, like I said, we have tons of cameras in here, so every time something happens, we are immediately to rewind the camera. Uh, for one instance, we had uh, this steampunk mask sitting on the top of a shelf. One of our employees walked by it clearly a few feet away from it, and it just kind of falls over and then just falls completely over after she walked by it. You can tell she didn't touch it, nothing happened, it broke into pieces, and... Yeah, it was a ghost. All right, Jessica, where can people go to find out more information on 33 Star? You can go to 33star.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're all over the place. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.